This is a robotic arm in action. I constructed this from a kit. The kit's available from OWI Incorporated. Building and operating a small robotic arm like this is a great way to start learning about the exciting field of robotics. This robot is being controlled by my computer. Digital commands activate the motors that control each action. Lowering the arm, closing the gripper, rotating, positioning, then releasing the object. This robot controls motion with motors and gearboxes. The gears are essential. They reduce the speed of each action and increase the available force. As I mentioned, this robotic arm is constructed from a kit. The first step involves assembling the five motorized gearboxes. The gears are color-coded, making it relatively easy to assemble these units. The illustrated instructions include special panels pointing out where you might go wrong. The unit is powered by four D cells. These four large batteries provide some ballast, making the arm stable. It took me about three hours to assemble the complete arm. There is an excellent set of assembly videos on YouTube at the Euro Air Toys channel. I have a link to these assembly instructions at our website, hyloroadcom slash robot. The basic arm comes with a manual controller. It uses buttons to control the five motors and a light. To use a computer to control the arm, it's necessary to purchase a USB adapter board. This board replaces the manual controller and connects to your computer's USB port. With the arm connected, the software opens displaying this window. The options Basic and Program provide two types of control. Clicking Basic opens this window. You can activate any of the control motors by using the row of buttons on the bottom. This first button controls the gripper. Note the gripper is highlighted on screen when you point at the button. Clicking on the buttons opens and closes the gripper. Similarly, you can select any of the other controls and control the motion of the arm. Quitting this window takes us back to the program option. Opening that, we can now create a program that will automatically run a sequence of motions. In this case, we will rotate the base. Pointing at any of the control points on the arm opens a window. Pointing at the base opens this window. Selecting this arrow rotates the base. Note we've rotated the base clockwise for 4.4 seconds. This rotation is the first motion. We need to add it as the first command. Click Enter and the command appears in the coding window. M5, clockwise for 4.4 seconds. M5 is the name given to the base control motor. The motors are labeled M1 through M5. Next, let's raise the arm using this axis. Up for 2.6 seconds. Click Enter, and this command appears in the coding window. We have two commands, using M3 and M5 to run this short program. We have to select Rewind to set the robot back to its original position. Click Start, and the two commands are executed. Rotate and Raise. Using this method, you can create a complex series of moves. Moves like this sequence of events.
You can save any programs you create for this arm. And if you know a bit about computer programming, you might be interested in looking at the script behind the program. You will find it saved as a DAT file. Looks like this. The numbers are interpreted by a higher level program to control the robot. If you're interested in mechanics, electronics, or computer programming, you may want to consider a career in robotics. One exciting and rapidly evolving area is in the health sciences field. Prosthetics. Often developed incorporating robotic technology, these artificial limbs are restoring mobility to handicapped people. We have more science and electronics related projects and videos at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.